We've been talking a lot lately about building a home. A home with a floor large enough to lay down on, with a table and chairs, with a kitchen inside that has a fridge, and of course a shower. Interesting. So this will be the access hole? Yeah, so, so we'll be able, we'll to, be get able to fold that up and get down in there. Wow. That way if we have levels, water levels attached, pumps and stuff going in and out, if we need to jump down in there, we can. This cistern is a variable cistern, so it will be able to take the weight of all of this road base and the concrete on top. What made you decide to do the burying this? This makes use of the space, and then now we don't have to worry about our water freezing. It might come off as though we're building our first home, but we're just building our first luxurious home. We've had a home all along, only now we have a bit more space and security to spread our feathers a bit. Somewhere, yeah, like on that wall or the wall to the right of that, but it just depends on how the stairs kind of shake out. You said your your overall foundation. Can't. <laughs> Can't. <stop. laughs> he has your tub along this wall. Yeah, but we're thinking we'll swap it. Okay. That so better. put the toilet here. Um, and then... Most wouldn't look at our little portable home and think of it as such. But that's because home is quite literally where the heart is. It's true. Home could be a studio overlooking a city skyline, or a single wide in a trailer park, or a giant empty house in a suburb, or an apartment in a tiny town where everybody knows your business. The lucky ones find home within themselves. Travelers, explorers, nomads, outcasts. And some find home within community, be it small and intimate, or vast and virtual. I've been thinking about all this a lot lately because I see all of your comments. So many of you wish for such wonderful things. Community, travel, off-grid property, friendship, love, and a sense of home, belonging. Especially in a time where we've been encouraged to separate and where isolation is trendy. We have a home and we want to be able to share it with you. We want to be able to share all that we have with everyone. We are working to be able to share real life experiences, workshops, camping trips, meetups. We just don't yet know how, and we don't quite yet have the time. But we do know how to share in the digital space. We'll be sharing the building process, the concrete building technique, the talented people who are helping us make it happen, we want you to belong, because don't forget how much all of you have done for us. Your comments, your photos, your stories, your support. 
you are very important to us and everything that we do in this digital space is with you in mind. Wow, it's perfect. Wow, that is such a fashion forward outfit. If nothing else, you have a home here in this online community with us and all the others here. Now, speaking of home, we're about to upgrade a little bit. We're moving into the A-frame. We haven't quite finished it yet. It was a quick project to give our friend Alec a place to live for a bit. But now we are gonna start sleeping in there. It's so surprising. Oh! Isn't it? How are you gonna get up there? I'll just shove it, I think. By moving into the A-frame, we hope to be able to clear out a little stuff from the scamp and make it into a more lightweight getaway vessel, if you will. Good. Oh my god, it's bigger than this is. Uh-oh. 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 It'll be kind of fine. This will be so interesting making a bed. Oh, God. That can be on you. <laughs> Ooh. What do you think? Wow. It's pretty dreamy, right? Yeah, we won't have to reverse spoon all night long. <coughs> How's the view? Look how big it is. Look at all this space. Well, and the ceiling is like six foot tall. I don't yet know what the A-frame will become other than a sleeping space, but we are going to finish it up and we would like to get all of your all's opinions on how to do so. How do you think that we should finish the interior walls? Some sort of putty to make it flat with paint on top? Wood panels? Drywall? What about the outside? Our current plan is to take the lava rock from all over the property and create a four-foot stone facade, then finish the rest with some sort of siding or paneling. Not yet sure. What do you think? Leave your comments below. We are excited to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.